He's a young man, all of 25, and this victory might have meant a lot more than just his first kiss. J.B. Kruger is the one man who took back not only massive pocket money of 1.8 million euros, but he also managed to get himself a serious story out there with his first European tour. Having won a few times on Sunshine Tour as well, gave him a bit of a backup, going away from being the bridesmaid that he's been to head to the mantle. Here is a special report on J.B. Kruger. Daniel Bridesmaid finally stood at the mantle this time, as the ever-elusive trophy finally got into the hands of James Barry Kruger, lovingly called JB. His first European Tour victory at Avanta Masters in Delhi is all set to become a game-changing point for the 25-year young lad. A precise chip from a few steps in the rough from the 18 green got him beautifully near the pin. <laughs> JB kept up the lead by shooting a 3 under 69 for a two shot victory at the DLF Golf Club, made four birdies and overcame a bogey on the 17th to finish with a 14 under total of 274, all during four days in Delhi during Avatha Masters. In a bright pink tee, he couldn't escape all the attention for his first European Tour win, especially since he seemed the winner from the very first tee off. Probably when I got to 15, 14, 15, 14. Um, now I think I knew I had a, had a pretty good chance the whole, the whole day. Kruger had come close to winning on many occasions, especially in 2010, when he had to settle for the runner-up spot three times. But with this win, the wait might have been worth it. Kruger looked up to the skies and thanked God for finally getting him this prestigious number one position. Here's what Kruger's victory lap looks like. With the European Tour and Asian Tour wins coming in through the Avanta Masters, he's managed to bag himself two Sunshine Tour wins in Africa. With a great kick off to the year, this is going to be the perfect reason to better the rest of the season. On the Asian Tour specifically, I think um, my main goal is to try and win all the merit. I think this is definitely going to help me uh, towards that. I think on the European Tour, try to Staying inside the top 60, um, and then just um, maybe try and get as hard as I can on the world ranking. Germany's Marcel CM reflected his sentiment visibly as he squared off the tournament second, shared with Spain's Orge Capillo. The richest Indian tournament at 1.8 million euros and $300,000 in Kroger's pocket, he is going to go beyond getting rich to just enrich his game. And while everyone thanks God and girlfriends, Kruger remembers the grounds end in his victory speech. Uh, the other for uh, to play on. I think um, I need to thank all you members uh, for getting us here. Thank you so much. Kruger, who picked up the winner's prize check, 1.8 million euros, has now moved to the top of the Asian Tour Order of Merit and, of course, getting his rankings upwards in the European Tour. David Horsey may never have picked a cricket bat. Rather unusual for an Englishman, but he was quick to learn golf, which is why he's driving on courses across the world. I caught up with him on what would be his favourite club in the bag and a four ball that he'd die to do anything to get. Um, starting off well today and then a bit of a wobble in the middle. But yeah, finished strong there with three beers in the last four. So yeah, it's uh, kept me right in there. What got you into golf in the first place? Was it, was it dad? Was it friends? Uh just watching the game because a large number of people really need to be taken to the course to start playing it. Sure, yeah, my granddad actually got me into it. Mum and dad aren't really that sporty. Uh, so my granddad started carrying for my granddad when I was about 12, 13 years old. So he got me hooked on it. And um, yeah, it's um, just taken from there really. I got quite good and, and enjoyed it and um, yeah, I'm turned it into a career. So yeah, it's great fun. 
But it, it's, it's not easy in the initial years, right? When you when you start thinking of it uh, to be able to be um, living off golf in the sense. No, it's not as easy as it looks. I mean, a lot of people see it as hitting a white ball around the field, which is <laughs> a little bit more than that, especially with the the pressures that we put ourselves under playing tournament golf. But um, yeah, but a lot of it's mental, I think, and you know, a lot of guys are very talented and, and don't make it just because they can't sort of get get the, get to grips with the game in their head. So um, yeah, it's 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 hard work. You've got to work hard and um, and just keep believing, I suppose. On a bad round, how hard is it to hide the anger and not throw the clubs around? Very, very <laughs> difficult. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm one of those people who does like to have a little bit of a so-called head off at times, but. Um, I'm trying to control it and it's difficult because um, you want to do well obviously everyone wants to play well and if you're not playing how you think you should be playing then it's hard to, to sort of control that anger but you've got to do it you've got to sort of keep it locked in it in a way I suppose and um, and try and do it the best you can. England's very well positioned suddenly in golf isn't it big names uh, playing well? Definitely yeah I mean you've just got to look at the, the t top 20 in the world I think we've got about three or four guys up there now so it's Luke obviously being number one and um, it shows that we can do it and we can produce you know, the, the caliber of player it, it takes to, to be world number one. What is your dream for ball? Well, good question. Probably Tiger Woods, Eva Mendes, and <laughs> I just, I'll, just, I'll just play a three ball. Oh, just, <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Reese Davies was a special guest that Tea Time brought to you right from the heart of his hometown in Wales. This time on his trip to Delhi, he talks about Indian food, what gets him happy about Delhi winters and whether or not he's able to drive well on Indian courses. It's good to be back. I was here a couple of years ago in Delhi and on this golf course. Um, I really enjoyed it and um, yeah, it's good to be back. Um, it's quite cold this morning but uh, it's warmed up a little bit now. Um, and Yeah, I play quite nicely so I'm happy, happy enough with things. How do you think golf is sort of shaping at this uh you know, 2012 year at the moment because uh, for yourself, where you have come from, and you know uh, uh, the whole, the whole story of the butter putter and Reese Davis. So, uh, where do you stand with your game this year? I'm playing well. I'm not quite getting the scores I feel I I deserve at the moment. Uh, but the game's in good shape. I'm hitting a lot of good shots. Um, I seem to be driving the ball really well. Um, I'm putting well without quite holding as many as I would like. I hold a few today, which is nice. So hopefully I can get the ball rolling this weekend. This year, in, in terms of uh, building your own timetable, uh, what have you picked as the key events, the marquee events that you're going to be part of? Um, I think, uh, to be honest, I try and treat every tournament the same. I don't try and approach any too different. Um, every event I play in, I give 100% and I try and compete and try and win the tournament. So it's no different here in Delhi and it'll be no different later on in the season in Europe. So yeah, hopefully I can compete this week. What's been the turning point in your game, you think? My long game's improving all the time. I'm starting to drive the ball in the fairway a lot more often, um, and that's useful, especially on a course like this, which can be quite narrow. Um, so, yeah, my drive is coming along um, a lot, um, and if I can uh, back that up with some, some good elements in my short game, then I can do well. How has it been uh, catching up with some of the Indian players? Uh, I noticed you were paired with Shiv, uh, plus, of course, you do meet many of these otherwise. Uh, how, how do you think their games are shaping and are they really getting there? Yeah, I've known Shiv for quite a few years and um, he's a good friend of mine. So it was nice to be out there and have some um, conversation on the way around today. Um, he himself looked like he's playing quite well. Um, a few shots were off occasionally, but for the most part his game looks pretty good. And um, there's more, obviously there's a lot of Indian players here uh, this week and and they've seemed to, every year, there's more and more competing at the top of the leaderboard. So it shows that the game of golf in India is constantly improving and younger players are getting better and I wouldn't be surprised to see some more contending this week. David Gleeson managed himself a nice victory at the Hero Indian Open and he caught up with me about his game, where he's headed and why India is important to his game. Each golf week is pretty similar for us no matter where we go. It's, you know, you have to do a little bit of preparation Tuesday, practice round, then the yeah. Pro-Am on Wednesday. Um, once the tournament starts, the time really does fly, you know, early mornings for the first one of the first two rounds and really need to stay one extra day after <laughs> to get much done, you yeah. know. We don't, it's a shame though, we don't get to see much. You know, in, uh, in the world today, everybody's looking at what would be the future of golf. They're betting on the Olympics to be a game changer. As a player, is that a feeling that you would share? For golf, I couldn't see it hurting. It helped tennis a lot. Um, I, and I mean, golf has had such a huge peak 
five years ago, say, yeah. and now I think it's it's um, stabilizing itself. We, we, you know, we're very lucky to have so many big tournaments around the world. Um, yeah, the Olympics could only help. I don't think it'll take anything away from the other major tournaments, though. Yeah, but do you think that the business is changing towards Asia a bit, uh, given that you know America has sort of been a very mature market for a long time, while Europe has had victories? Asia is where the potentially new players should be coming up now. It will. It's just that's what is going to happen. Um, I, you know, maybe I could say that there was three or four good Indian golfers when I first come here. Now there's 15 to 20. So, and you know, China's going to do that probably in the next few years. They got their local tour. There's a big population. There's a good pool of genetics to play some good sport there. So it's only going to happen. Just a couple of very quick questions. Uh, what would be your favourite dream for ball? I tend to like to play golf with my friends so you know just friends I went to school with or my brothers or dad they're generally the you know, the dream dream four ball because um, I don't get home much and you know I, that's that's what I'd like to do these days yeah shed the anger off the course or on the course um, generally I'm pretty okay I've, I've had enough bad rounds to know that it sort of doesn't make too big of a difference putter or driver um, it's been the driver for a long time, but it's getting better. A hole-in-one or a round of life? A round of life, yeah. More golfers, more stars on the course. I've caught up with Kira Dick, Oliver Fisher, we also had Andre Pavan and many others. Take a look at what they're saying about the game of golf. I'm enjoying it, you know, it's uh, quite different than uh, Europe, and, but the golf course is nice and, you know, uh, it's, uh, it's playing quite, uh, quite well, you know, tough. Of the tea, you know, it's a, it's a tricky course. What is your favorite club in your bag? Um, probably my uh, sandwich. What do you think has been the turning point in golf for you? Last year was my first year as a professional, so uh, you know, I probably my first win was uh, was big, but also my when I when I was um, uh, leading and finished second in one tournament in Austria last year. I learned a lot from it, although it felt like a disappointment. Uh, but uh, you know, I learned a lot, and it opened me a lot of doors and uh, make, uh, giving me the opportunity to play uh, all the year on the challenge. Yeah, for sure it is. I mean, end of the day, every year start start of every year is important, and you sort of set your goals out and look look for ways to move forward and um, you know set your targets, obviously. But uh, you know, it's a good week this week. You come to India, and there's um, you know the points are good, and the, the obviously the the purse is a, is a good purse. So yeah, um, you know, it's good it's good for us guys in Europe to come over and, and play and. Um, now we can get some good points on the board. You talked about the purse. India has actually steadily increased the purse for some time now. Do you think that's one of the key reasons why golf, in many ways, is seeing India come up in, uh, you know, in, in the global uh, arena? Yeah, for sure. You know, you got guys like SSP and G. Obviously, G's been great for Indian golf and Shiv. You know, those guys have all made their mark on the European tour and G for sure on world golf. You know, so you know, it's good for um, it's good for India, I guess, to have a great a good event like this and. Um, you know, all credit to the sponsors of Anthe and, and the guys putting the money in for that. It's, it's, it's great. So, you know, um, you know, I enjoy coming here. It's a bit different, and uh, you know, looking forward to the week. Where did you start golf, and how did you get into it? I mean, I'm from from London, so you know, I've been playing since I was a boy. <laughs> it's it's almost a given that you have to hit the course. Uh, not really. You know, we play football and rugby and stuff like that back home. You know, so um, you know, my parents played golf and that, so that's how I got into it. But uh, you know, we all. Um, you know, in the UK, a lot of sports are open to us to go and play and stuff at school and, and whatever else. So, you know, there's a lot, a lot of different opportunities. There are always hard rounds on the course. So how do you keep yourself calm and keep the composure on the course? <laughs> That's difficult. You know, sometimes we don't. Sometimes we lose a call and that. And, uh, you know, it's part of it. You know, it's a, it's a tough day. There's, you know, you're out of four or five hours. It can be good. It can be not so good. So, you know, you've got to take the rough with a smooth a little bit, I guess. And that's part of the game. Well, I expect uh, quite a lot. Um, practice hard. So, um hoping to, to get a win soon. What have you practiced on over the last one year? Uh, I practice a bit of everything at the game, so a bit a bit of everything, yeah. Do you, do you think that there's a big stress factor when you're on the course? Uh, is, is there something that you do to keep yourself calm and composed? I mean, sometimes it can be stressful, but uh, you, you have to enjoy to be out here. It's, it's a great tour and a great work to have, uh, so I just really enjoy to be out here. Where did you start golf and how? Started in Denmark when I was uh, seven. Uh, my dad took me to the golf club, and uh, yeah, after that, I just I loved it.
You know, there was a time when everybody used to wish and hope that when a PGA Tour victory uh, happens, that's the biggest point in anyone's career. Do you think now the European Tour has become strong enough and there's a lot of excitement building up in this side of the Atlantic? Yeah, I mean, of course. I mean, in, uh, on the European Tour, there's so many good players now. So, uh, I mean, it's 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 a good uh, win to win on the European Tour as a win on, on the PGA Tour right now. I mean, uh, both tours is very difficult to win on. So, yeah. uh, every win is a, a really good win. Is winning everything to you? Yeah, it is most. Yeah. What would be a dream four ball? Dream four ball probably Tiger Woods, uh, Jack Nicklaus, and Ballesteros. <laughs> My game is getting better every year. I mean, I changed my new coach, and then my putting is getting better. I hope my goal this year to to win the Gold Sanction event, and also next week to defending champion on Sale Open. I'll yeah. try to do it. Yeah. Oh, it's big. I mean, being the defending champion at Sale Open. Importantly, um, as as golf sort of gears up here in India in a big way, people like to believe it's a style statement, and I like what you're wearing. Tell us about. Uh, why it's so important to be uh, a style icon on the golf course? Um, it doesn't have any fashion, <laughs> so I like to wear my blue and green color. Green color is my lucky color. Uh, the other guy must see my final round with the green color. So oh, that's it. Right. So we expect you to wear green everywhere where you go this time around. I, if I can.